We are back with another video in the Hoopscoop Media Top 100 Countdown, and at the number 15 team in the country, we have the Florida Gators. What's up, college basketball fans? I'm Hoopscoop Media co-founder Austin Getchy, and welcome to the Hoopscoop Media Top 100 College Basketball Teams Countdown. In this series, we'll be counting down our top 100 teams for next season and releasing a video every day until the college basketball season begins. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our social medias a follow. Simple things like that help more college basketball fans like you enjoy our content. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and 99 other videos in this series. Last year was the first year of the Todd Golden era in Gainesville, and it didn't go quite to plan. Florida was a team that showed some flashes, but was never consistent, never winning more than three games in a row all season. The Gators were on the bubble for a little bit, but fell off at the end of the year and lost in the first round of the NIT. However, there's still lots to be excited about with Golden. He's known as a sharp analytical mind and took San Francisco, a school that hadn't made a tournament since 1998, to a top 25 team in March Madness. Despite the rough first year, Florida had a good offseason and Golden shouldn't be counted out after just one year. The Gators do lose lots of significant pieces from last season. The big loss was Colin Castleton, who exhausted his eligibility. He was elite on both sides of the ball, being named to the SEC All-Conference team. They also lost Kyle Lofton and Myrian Jones to eligibility, and Alex Fudge, who started his pro career. A few significant pieces also transferred out, as Koasi Reeves transferred to Georgia Tech, and Trey Bonham committed to Chattanooga. Golden brought in an elite transfer class, but the best player on the team might be returning sophomore Riley Kugel. He was on fire to end last season, averaging over 17 points per game over his final 10 games and being one of the most efficient scorers in SEC play. Going into this year, he could be an SEC Player of the Year and All-American candidate. Another impressive thing Golden did this offseason is out-recruit Rick Pitino for MAC Player of the Year, Walter Clayton Jr., coming from Iona. He's another extremely efficient scorer, shooting over 45% from three-point range in conference play and going 102 for 107 from the free throw line on the season. He's a solid passer as well, with over a 20% assist rate. Clayton was arguably the best transfer brought into the conference this offseason and should be able to translate up. Seton Hall forward Tyrese Samuel, the best player on the Pirates last season, also committed to Florida. He's a very good defender and shot nearly 60% from inside the arc in conference play last season. He brings a lot of age and experience playing at a high level to this Florida team. The Gators brought in UC Riverside point guard Zion Poland, a first-teamer in the Big West. He's a good passer with an assist rate of over 30% in conference play. He's not a great three-point shooter, but can really score from the mid-range and averaged north of 18 points per game last year. Marshall big man Micah Hanglotton also figures to play a big role coming off a spectacular freshman season. He's an elite shot blocker with an 8.7% block percentage. He didn't look to score a ton, but took high percentage shots when he did, connecting at over 70%. Hanglotton is also a player with lots of room to grow due to his youth. Wing Will Richard also returns. He wasn't a super high usage player, but was extremely efficient last year, shooting nearly 40% from three and over 60% from inside the arc. In conference play, he led the SEC in true shooting percentage and offensive rating, and should play a big role in this year's team as well. The final transfer Golden got was San Francisco guard Julian Richwain. He struggled shooting the ball this year, but shot nearly 44% from deep playing for Golden two seasons ago. The Gators also returned some bench pieces from last year. Denzel Aberdeen didn't see much playing time as a freshman, but could be in for a jump. Alex Shimshik is a skilled forward who saw some significant minutes at the end of last season. Golden also brings in three members of the freshman class. One is Australian big Alex Condon, who has a chance for big minutes right away. He is very skilled and can run the floor and should make a big impact rebounding. Thomas Hott is another member of the class. He is a versatile forward who can handle the ball well for his size and should be a very impactful player once he gets in the rotation. Lithuanian point guard Kajus Kublikas is the final member of the class. He is a good passer and has been playing professionally. Overall, I think Florida is due for a huge bounce back year. After really struggling at times last year, Golden has revamped the roster 
and despite losing Carlson, who was a highly impactful player, made it significantly better as a whole. They should improve significantly offensively after finishing 139th in the country last year. I currently have the Gators sitting at second in the SEC, which is a lot higher than most have them, but I'm fully in on this team. Florida fans, comment below your thoughts and where you'd personally have the Gators ranked. We will be back tomorrow for number 14 team in the country. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it.